Coming to you from the floor of the CME Group, I'm Eric Wolfman Wilkinson. It's Tuesday, November 22nd. Let's get in the zone, the cash money zone. We're starting to see the holiday markets uh, action come in here, which means a little bit of less uh, volume coming into the market, but that kind of increases volatility. It just means that the less volume, it's easier to push it back and forth. But in the Treasury options right here behind me, you're starting to see that volatility come down. Uh, that's due to the fact that people are starting to take some money out of the premium. Uh, for the holiday market coming up, all right? Take that. All right, we had a couple numbers this morning. Third quarter GDP came in a little bit lower than expected. Not a great thing. 2% versus 2.5. Well, that kind of counterintuitively, the stock market equities all rallied on that. Then we had the uh, Richmond Fed come out. It came out a little bit better than expected versus big donut versus uh, negative two. Well, that's starting to show that the manufacturing sector is starting to stabilize a little bit. A couple of things, retail sales, service service revenues, manufacturing orders, um, and new orders all increased. That was a little bit better. Problem was we had a prices paid, showed a little bit of an uptick there. Came in at 3.4 versus 2.2. That's not a really great thing because it goes back to what we talked about, that margin compression. Take that. All right, on to my numbers. We got the S&P 500. It's trade bouncing off this 1181 back and forth. If we can stay above 1181 to 1182 area, that's going to be a good thing. It's going to show solid support down here. If we break down below that, settle below there today, maybe even into the uh, 70s, that's not going to be a good thing. Next stop is going to be about 1120 as far as I can see. Take that. All right. Then we're on to the treasury market. Treasuries, treasuries, we've seen that whole flight to safety, flight to quality, if you will. Treasury 10-year notes trading below 2%. 30-year Treasury bonds have gone below 3% for the first time in a while this week. So that's, um, that's going to show that people are taking money out of stocks and starting to roll it over into there. Well, we talked about gold the last time. It's really going back and forth between the 1700 area, back up and back down. Um, whether or not it settles above or below that is going to really determine the next couple of weeks on its direction too. All right, on to the super committee. That's what everybody's talking about down here. What came out of it? Big nothing. They came up with nothing in those talks. What is it saying? Well, it's everybody here is talking about how it's really showing that Obama is showing no leadership whatsoever when it comes to making any decisions in the government. He's kind of trying to pawn it off on everybody else so he can point his finger and say whether or not they did anything or not. But in the meantime, he's not doing anything himself. All right. One good thing that comes out of this is the budget cuts come into effect in 2013, so that's actually a pretty good thing. You would have thought yesterday on that 200-point sell-off, it might have been due to that. Some people think it still has to do with the European issues and where or not they're going to be able to come up with any money to fund these banks. But um, all in all, that whole breakdown in communication, everybody kind of holding their guns, looks to be like it could be a pretty good thing. Um, so we'll have to see whether or not they come up with anything. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Have a good holiday. Take that.